Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with a video about all of my black handbags. I've been watching a lot of these videos lately and I decided to count up the number of black handbags that I have in my collection since for years I've been addicted to purchasing black handbags in particular. And I actually have 26 that I have counted. My count could be wrong, so as I uh, go to list them below, I will know for sure, but I think I have 26 black handbags. And yes, it is a problem. Um, I do intend to get rid of a few of them, um, but I love all of the ones that I have, so it's gonna be tough. I love and use, I should say, all of the ones that I have. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna jump in and get started. I'm gonna do my luxury handbags first, so those of you who are only interested in maybe that part of the video can um, tune out as soon as I get to the end of those, and then I'll move into some of my more kind of premium brands and other brands. So um, yeah, I'm gonna get started with my first black handbag, which is my Chanel Jumbo. This is a pre-loved um, single flap jumbo in the black lambskin leather with the silver hardware. And I love this bag specifically for using um, as a really casual handbag. I do just have it stuffed with a bag pillow in there, but I love wearing this very casually. I did buy it pre-loved and it was um, quite soft and smushy and it's one of those bags that I do wear as a shoulder bag and um, I think it's just a great sort of everyday casual handbag um, and yeah that is the first one I'm gonna try not to talk too much about each bag because this video is gonna be super long my next Chanel pre-loved vintage handbag that I have to show you is my Chanel Kelly and I just revealed this in my last video but this is a beautiful gorgeous um, single flap handbag that carries just all of my everyday essentials um, it is a great sort of perfect small to medium size I would say and I'm so thrilled to have this bag in my collection Next up, I have my Gucci mini, super mini, um, in the black uh, leather, and I love this bag with the cute little heart in the back. This is a great little crossbody bag. I do keep it stuffed with its dust bag and the chain is inside, but this is um, a great addition to my collection. This is what I have sort of replaced having a walk with and um, really do enjoy this for just when I want to be hands-free and not have a lot of things with me and not be sort of bogged down by something hanging on me. So um, this is a great little bag for that and I absolutely love her. Next up is my Celine box bag. I have this in the beautiful box leather and I purchased this pre-loved. It's a great um, bag as a long shoulder bag or crossbody. I do keep it stuffed with its strap and its dust bag um, and I just absolutely love this bag. I think it is so understated and um, just a true classic. My next black handbag is this little cutie. This is my Chanel Vintage Square Flap, and I have this in the black lambskin leather with the gold plated hardware that is absolutely beautiful. This bag um, is vintage, and she is the oldest handbag in my collection. She's super soft, um, super chic, and one that I will never part ways with. And the last of my truly luxury handbags would be this one. This is my favorite handbag in my collection. For those who ask that question, I get that a lot. This is my Chanel Classic Flap in the black lambskin leather with the silver hardware. I purchased this also pre-loved, but in excellent condition, and I absolutely love this bag. The next handbag in my collection is one that I'm thinking about selling since I haven't been using her a lot. This is my um, Furla, I forget the name of this bag, but I will leave it um, in the uh, description box below, but this is a great little crossbody bag. Um, I do keep her stuffed with her dust bag and the long chain. This is a great, um, like I said, crossbody bag, but one that is kind of understated and when I don't want anything too flashy, that is when she does come out, when I'm looking for something small um, and I don't have too much to carry, but I want something a little more understated. This is a really great bag. The next bag I have to show you is my Teddy Blake Eva bag and I got this bag um, quite a few years ago and as you can see she is a definite dupe for <laughs> the um, Hermes Kelly size 28 and I absolutely love this bag and it has really sort of made me pause and think whether I need to have the Kelly in my life since it is such an expensive bag and if I don't end up finding one for the price that um, I would be wanting to pay. This one is kind of doing the job um, in the meantime, and I do have her um, kind of decorated with my little Louis Vuitton bandeau, and she's just a super, super cute bag. 
Next up, I'm going into some of my tote bags since I have quite a few black totes. This one is my Linear Soft Tote, um, which is an absolutely beautiful bag. It has a magnetic closure. It has this beautiful sort of um, twill um, interior. It's got a great pocket inside. And this is just, to me, such a perfect size um, everyday kind of work bag. It is very understated. The leather um, and the quality of this bag is absolutely beautiful and I highly recommend to anyone looking for a really nice black work tote. My next two black bags are my Everlane tote bags. This is the Day Market tote um, and this is the larger size and this is the Day Square tote in the smaller square size and I love these bags. This one I've gotten a ton of use out of for work, um, but it is a super huge bag. So I decided to pick up this one, which I think is more of a great bag for just every day when you wanna carry a tote bag. And they both um, have a nice little pocket in the back so you can kind of put your keys or day-to-day -day things when I do take these bags to work. I love having a pocket inside my totes just to be able to throw like my work badge and um, things like that. But they are just really, really great quality for money. I definitely highly recommend these, um, again, as a great um, structured work tote, but not too structured. It's something that you can wear both um, sort of professionally and casually, and I love them. And the last of my tote bags is this black tote from Banana Republic. I got this many years ago. This is a really floppy, super soft leather tote that has a very strong snap closure on the top. Um, you can see the inside of it is the untreated leather with a nice little pocket that I love to have in the back. Now this I use more casually because like I said, it is very slouchy, but the leather over the years is just so soft and supple. Um, it is just such a great bag when I'm going out casually and I need to carry a lot of things. So this is remaining in my collection even though I have way too many black totes. Next up, I have a couple of vintage inspired clutch bags that I absolutely love. The first one is from Oraton. This is a bag that I had first seen on Jam Jamie of Mademoiselle and I absolutely loved hers. She has one that is a mock croc print that um, is just stunning. So I really wanted that one, but I could no longer find it since I don't think it is available. So I went with um, this one and I did just recently use this and get probably some makeup or something on it, but really, really cute little bag, very dainty and ladylike. I love that it has this little strap on the top. Um, I forget the name of it, but I will try to find the name and leave it down below. But um, it is really, as you can see, a very vintage inspired bag. You can actually put the um, handle inside the bag as well. And it also comes with a long chain. So um, yeah, you can wear this as a shoulder bag, you can wear it as a handheld bag, or you can just use it as a small clutch. And I just love this bag, it's very versatile. And just putting the handle inside and snapping it closed, you can see this could be a really beautiful clutch bag. It's just a perfect size and I absolutely love it. And my other vintage inspired handbag is one that I picked up at a boutique and it is a sort of no name um, bag that very much looks like the Celine, um, forget what that is called, might just be called the clutch bag, I'm not really sure. But anyway, it reminded me so much of that I had to have it. It is actually um, leather and it's absolutely beautiful inside. You can see it's got this lovely red lining. I do wish it had some sort of pockets or something inside. It does have one zip pocket in the middle, but I wish it had a little pocket on the side. Um, I don't really like having to zip and unzip things as we've talked about in some videos before. Um, but this is a great little just um, everyday size clutch bag that I think, um, again, it has that sort of vintage inspired look and I absolutely love it. Next up, I've got a couple of crossbody bags from Banana Republic. This one is one of their Italian leather bags that is absolutely gorgeous. It's got a little flap on the back and it just pops open with um, this beautiful kind of brown interior with a nice zipper. And I do have the strap sort of inside the bag, but the strap actually is great. Perfect length for crossbody, and I absolutely love this bag. 
My next handbag is one of the oldest handbags in terms of handbags I purchased new in my collection, and it is um, this little crossbody from Banana Republic. This bag has been with me on so many trips. I purchased this years ago for a trip to Italy, and I remember at the time, there really weren't any kind of wallet on chain style bags or things out there, and so this was really unique. Um, and I loved that it just had so many compartments. It's got a little zipper compartment here, a magnetic closure, a big compartment there, um, and then another compartment that snaps open on the back. So it was great to kind of put my passport, um, kind of a little bit of spending money that I ended up going and exchanging, and um, yeah, just carrying my credit cards, license, that kind of thing, and I absolutely love this bag. It's been, like I said, with me for so many years on so many trips. Um, it does have an adjustable strap, but I always have worn it on the same um, same length, and it just is one of those bags you don't even realize you have it on, um, but yet it is really safe and secure um, as a crossbody bag just hanging underneath your jacket or what have you when you're traveling. So um, really, really cute bag and something that will never leave my collection. And I just realized I left out one of my tote bags that was buried among my bags here. This is my Longchamp Le Pliage tote, and I'm sure you're all familiar with this tote. Um, it sort of uh, folds down into a really small tote that you can take with you. I've taken this on so many vacations, there's probably some sand or something <laughs> inside this bag. But this is a great beach bag, a great travel bag, and something you can just fold and stick into your luggage and take with you. So I absolutely love this tote. Next up, I have this bag from The Curated. This is The Curated Classic bag, and I absolutely love this. It is in this mock croc. Um, really beautiful leather that is really high quality. I love the closure on this, that it just opens like so. It comes with two straps that I have in their dust bag here and a nice zipper pocket. It's got a lot of pockets, a front pocket. I think I've done a video actually on this bag, um, but I love that it's got two different straps so you can wear it kind of as a little handheld bag or short shoulder bag, or you can wear it longer and crossbody. And until I got my Celine, um, box bag. <laughs> this is the bag that kind of has the same sort of look and for a lot less money. So um, definitely a, high, a bag that I highly recommend. The next few bags I have to show you are all from JW Pay, which is a company that does absolutely gorgeous vegan leather handbags. And um, this one is the first one that I had ordered that is um, a beautiful crossbody bag. I will try to find the name of all of these, by the way, and leave it down below. Um, it's got this little closure here that you push the button, and um, I have the strap inside its dust bag inside. It isn't very soft, it is very stiff, but I will say that um, it really is a great dupe for a leather handbag because um, it really looks high, high quality and is something that I absolutely love. So this one is the first one that I had purchased. Next one is this little cutie, which is um, right now a handheld bag, but it also has a crossbody strap inside. And once again, um, you can just see the quality of this. I love that their bags have a nice kind of um, thick strap because that is something that I really didn't have a lot of in my handbag collection. And so it kind of gives it a little bit more of an edgy look. And again, this one is just super cute. I have it in other colors as well because um, these are a great price point and really high quality, like I said, for vegan leather bags. And my last mock croc bag from JW Pay is this one. This one is um, just a little pochette that has this little sort of kidney shape that I love. Um, it has a really smooth zipper. This is one that I use all the time. I wish it did have a pocket inside, um, sort of like my Louis Vuitton um, pochette accessoire, but it does not. But it is a great sort of strap drop for um, just a little pouch bag. And I think these are so super cute and making such a huge comeback. And I absolutely love this bag. And another handbag I think I'm going to let go in my collection is this one. It is from Topshop, and as you can see, it is very similar to the last bag I showed you, but it is just a little bit um, too small. It's a very small sort of pouch bag. I'd say this is probably the same size as maybe the old model um, Louis Vuitton pochette, which um, is great. It's not a bad bag. It also has a very smooth zipper, and I love that the zipper on this is concealed inside the bag. So I don't know, I didn't pay much for this, um, so I may end up holding on to it a bit longer, but I don't find myself using it. I do find myself reaching for the other one, and um, 
This one you can see has gotten a little wrinkled just from sitting in a pile of bags in my closet, a pile of black bags in my closet. And the last of my mock croc bags is this little one that I picked up at H&M for a steal. I can't remember exactly how much I paid for this, but it's a great little crossbody with snap closure and just uh, two pockets. Really simple, really something that is, again, understated. Um, the quality of this does not look or feel as good as the other ones I've shown you, but um, this is very soft and malleable, so it's a great sort of crossbody bag when you don't want a lot of fuss in your life, and it's something I have gotten quite a bit of use out of, so um, definitely worth the money to purchase. So the next black bag I have to show you is one that I had thought about selling and am glad that I held on to because it has come back in style and I have been using it quite a bit lately. It is this sort of crocheted bag that I picked up, I think at Nordstrom, or it might have been Belk, I'm not even sure. Um, it is from the brand The Sack. I don't know who makes that, but I got this um, one year when I was going on vacation many years ago, and um, it had some great little organization inside. It's got a zipper pocket. It's got um, some other pockets on the back that are kind of elasticized, and um, you can hold a ton. It is a great crossbody bag. It is not, um, the one complaint I would have is that it is not, uh, adjustable and the strap is quite long so it hangs kind of lower on my hip but it is a great little bag um, for that more sort of bohemian style that really isn't so much me but every now and then in the summertime especially when I'm wearing kind of like a beach cover-up and that kind of thing this is the perfect handbag for that so really glad that I've held on to it and um, one that I am keeping now in my collection. I'm down to my last three bags and they are all from H&M and they are all woven bags. So the first one I have to show you is this beautiful circle bag that I picked up last year from um, H&M, like I said, and it is just one big kind of open pit. I have my little Karl Lagerfeld um, pouch in here. I just recently used this to go to the pool and um, it's a really, really cute bag, but also a very functional bag. And I was really upset that I missed out on getting this bag in kind of the um, natural woven color. And this year they actually released another one and I have it on order right now. So I'm really excited for that to come any day now. My next woven bag also from H&M is this circle bag, which um, is a great little crossbody bag with some faux leather that is kind of cheap looking, but I remember not really paying a lot for this bag. And and um, I really don't like to pay a lot when it comes to things like woven bags and really kind of trend items, but I really did like the layout of this. It does have my nice little pocket inside. It has um, some really nice uh, sort of linen-like, I guess, li lining, and um, the zipper was really nice on this as well. So definitely a great little purchase and one that I've gotten a lot of use out of. Last but not least, I have this little woven tote, which is a great bag for when you're traveling and you wanna take a bag just for going out shopping or just going out shopping in general. Um, I do have some other reusable bags that I use at my grocery store and things like that, but this bag um, is just sort of great for travel and I love that it is so sort of soft and pliable that you can just sort of um, throw it into your luggage, like I said, and use it when you get to your destination. So those are all of my black handbags. Clearly I have a little bit of a problem. Um, I do intend to sort of wean the collection down a little bit um, this year since I definitely have way more than I'm using. So we'll see which ones get used, which ones don't, and I'll probably sell or donate some of them um, by, the year, by the end of the year. So um, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions regarding anything I've talked about, please leave it in the comments below. I hope you're all having a great day and I will see you soon in my next video.